What's going on? My name is Gabriel Clark and this is Colin Harvey and we're here at Bakaraitsu Khan in uh, Colchester, Vermont to talk to you guys about how to spot different kinds of bootlegs. Now whether you're at a convention like this one or shopping online or in a retail store, you're always bound to run into at least one or two bootlegs. So in this video we're going to talk to you a little bit about how to deal with both DVDs and wall scrolls since they're some of the most popular. So if I'm a consumer at a convention, not unlike this one in maybe a dealer's room, and I see something like this, and I'm like, I don't know if this is legit, what would be a couple of ways in order for me to, um, I guess, point it out and make sure that it's the real deal? Well, one of the things you can look for is this particular one, the material is not as high quality as uh, you would see from a uh, industry. A release generally if it's an all if it says all region region zero region free that means that it is a bootleg um, anything else um, I noticed that there's no copyright information that is another thing to look for love Hina is currently uh, licensed by Funimation entertainment and if you look on this packaging nowhere will you find any copyright information whatsoever on it so we got a wall scroll here from Neon Genesis Evangelion. We have Ray and Asuka and uh, quite the getup. So um, again, I'm not seeing any copyright information at all on this thing. Nope, none at all. If it's a wall scroll, there will be copyright information and it's generally down in this corner, but not necessarily. And if it's released in North America, it will have the GE logo on it for Great Eastern Entertainment. And where else might you be able to look up bootleg information? You can also go to bootlegfree.org where we have links to a whole bunch of different bootleg FAQs. That's bootlegfree.org. Wink. And if you'd like to update the list with maybe your vendor or your convention, contact us at contact at keepanimealive.com. So once again, this is Gabriel Clark and Colin Harvey from the Anime Defense Project here at Bakaraitsu Khan, and we'll be updating this channel with more videos not unlike this one. So subscribe if you like what you see, and um, we'll keep updating and keep informing you about how to spot bootlegs and how to keep anime alive.